Alright, this is just an introduction to a plugin that we have created for Blender. It's based on Blender 2.54 Beta, um, but I'm uh, hoping 2.6 Blender will come out before too long. Um, so to start up, I'm just in the command line and I'm just literally going to start up uh, Blender. Uh, and we're met with the introductory screen, um, as always. I don't need these cameras for now. Um, just to start up the plugin, I've uh, already installed it in the uh, add-ons directory. So you just go to user preferences, add-ons. Uh, it's labeled under the architecture category and it's named Blend Me. It's a Blender architectural modeling environment. So we turn that on. What that's done now is create a load of extra menu options uh, in scene and object and materials. Uh, you can see here's the extra menu in scene. It consists of ability to enter a name for the building, a location, the default latitude and longitude is Perth because that's where I live, uh, time zone plus eight, um, elevation, you can enter a north orientation for the site but I just always keep that as zero. North axis is along the y-axis in Blender. Uh, and there's all these buttons for sun path, CFD, energy modeling and fire modeling but we'll get on to what those all mean in a, in a little while. For now only energy, CFD and sun path are supported. Fires halfway through construction. In the object menu there's a very similar looking menu that's added down here but it depends changes depending upon what object you have selected and also what category of modeling you're inside of. So inside of CFD we can assign mesh levels to objects. Uh, inside of energy we can we can name an object as an opening, a surface, a zone or nothing at all. Uh, nothing at all means it will be transparent to the energy modeling. Um, we can assign, assign what type of reports we want to have issued for certain surfaces and we can decide, assign whether a wall, what, if it's a wall, what type of wall it is. Similarly, if it's an opening, we can decide whether it's a door or a window. And if it's a zone, you can assign multipliers, HVAC systems, infiltration, and also reports. In the materials, each material in Blender is assigned extra information depending upon its construction. So, this material might be concrete, or whatever. Uh, you can assign whether a material is has zero mass, resistance only, whether it's an air gap or a gap in windows, glazing or opaque. Most constructions are opaque, like a wall. Uh, you can assign the roughness and the various thermal properties that make it up. If it is a window, then you can assign inside and outside solar reflectance, visible reflectance, and infrared transmittance and emissivity. All right, so that's the introduction to the Blend Me plugin for Blender. And in later tutorials, we'll actually start constructing uh, a real model. Thanks for listening.